This week on the Auto Insider, we're spending a week in the seat in the 2024 Mitsubishi Outlander. This is a plug-in hybrid electric midsize SUV. We think this is going to be one to upset the apple cart in the SUV category. We took it on a road trip to Huntsville, Alabama for a volleyball trip, and then we spent a week driving around town without any gas. The Outlander fits right in a sweet spot for young families. We think about pricing. This is an SEL. It's loaded with all the options and the MSRP is $51,000, which puts it right in the middle of the hunt when we talk about mid-size SUV. In fact, according to the analyst over at Kelly Blue Book, the average transaction price for a new vehicle as of July of 2024 was $48,334. And even though I see this Outlander as a disruptor in the midsize SUV market, it's not without its flaws. That third row, it's a just in case of emergency third row, but that might be a really smart move for Mitsubishi. Because according to places like Consumer Reports and a research I saw on Reddit, the average family only uses the third row about 10% of the time. And depending on how you look at that, that could be an advantage for some of you parents who don't necessarily want to take all those kids along for the ride. Speaking of ride, though, we had to head out to Huntsville, Alabama. It's volleyball season and the road trips began. Our road trip started at night. And the technology in this Mitsubishi started to make itself obvious right away. Heads up display, traffic sign recognition, and dynamic radar cruise control with steering assist. But first, let's talk about the thing that really struck me most about this Outlander. It's a plug-in hybrid electric vehicle that can get up to 45 or 46 miles of range on an electric charge. When we got back from Huntsville, I decided to test it out and see just how far we could go without having to purchase gasoline. And to my surprise, we made it an entire week on electric charge alone. Plugging it up at home overnight, getting about 46 miles for that commute to the office. With the cold temperatures, it didn't always get all 46 miles, but being a plug-in hybrid electric, I was confident because we always had the backup gasoline over there on the other side of the dashboard. So if we ever ran out of gas, I could always stop and fill up and not have to worry so much about range anxiety. And if you're like me and you work in a major city, your office building probably also has charging stations that are free. I can go to my office, use our facilities. There's a two hour limit, but that should be enough to get me back to the house. The Outlander surprisingly was a really pleasant road trip vehicle. Not only did it get great fuel economy, but it also has a lot of safety features that make it easy and pleasant to drive on a long road trip. Things like lane keep assist, lane departure warning. This button right here turns all the sensors on. So what you'll see here is a blind spot monitor, forward collision warning. And when I set the cruise control, it actually allows the Outlander to navigate the road itself. Very little input from the driver, made for a very relaxing road trip. Now that we are back in the city, this is where this Outlander really shines. Automakers are putting forth a lot of effort to make family SUVs a little more luxurious and to make the cabin a little more appealing. Mitsubishi has actually achieved that. There are some very premium touch points here and it's mixed in with a couple of pieces that are not quite as soft and not quite as premium but Mitsubishi has done a good job of putting this cabin together and making it a little more upscale not to mention my 16 year old daughter commented on our trip to Huntsville Alabama about a three and a half four hour trip that this was one of the smoothest vehicles that she's ever ridden in. She had a really nice relaxing ride and that second row had plenty of leg room for her alone. Now, if we were taking more young people, it would have been a little more cramped. It's a rather um, compact interior here on this Outlander. But if you have a family of four young ones just starting out, it's plenty of room. Not to mention, there's a third row back there that folds flat into the floor, so it gives you extra passenger space when you need it. Well, kind of, sort of. Remember I said in the beginning, that's a just-in-case-of-emergency third row? 
that's a pretty difficult lift to get in here. And as you can see, not very much headroom. And whoever's sitting here, it's not gonna be very comfortable either. So this is a third row for a small chill. There are cup holders here. No USB-C or no USB fast charger back here. So you're pretty much just stuck in a cocoon-like state. So for the record, Mitsubishi did squeeze in and just in case of emergency, third row, but nowhere I want to spend any time. So while that third row leaves a lot to be desired, the second row has great leg room. You have pockets here on both seat backs for things like cell phones, AirPod cases, things in there. Heated outboard seats for both second row passengers, as well as a third climate control to control the temperature here. You have a USB charger, USB-C fast charger, as well as a 120 volt outlet. We have the rear sunshade and this folds up out of the way. So now you can sit three across this second row, no problem. There's good leg room, good head room. For two rows, this Outlander really works. And if it's an SUV, it's gotta have good cargo and the cargo has to be easy to access. I love the fact that it has a cargo cover. It's removable. You fold this third row up out of the floor, which doesn't compromise cargo space. You put your cargo cover right behind it. You can take it with you and you got these seats just in case of emergency. This panoramic roof adds the light all the way through the cabin of the vehicle. Quilted faux leather here with the alternator stitching in the doors. Adds a nice premium touch and feel to the vehicle. Coming across the dashboard, I like this alternator stitching across the dash. I like the two-tone dashboard, as well as knobs and buttons, so you don't have all these fingerprints. We can get to the camera, audio, menu, change the radio station, volume up and down. Here you have dual climate controls, one for each front seat passengers, heated seats for both front seat passengers, and a heated steering wheel. Coming on down the dash, you have our wireless phone charger, USB-C fast charger, standard charger. The really odd shifter, regenerative brakes, EV only mode, electronic parking brake, and your multiple drive modes. I use Eco most of the time for our testing purposes. Great placement for the cup holders, easy to get to when your arm is laying right here in a comfortable natural position here on the center console. Center console could be larger, that's all the space you have. If you're like me, you got kids, you know, you're gonna need more than napkins to carry around with you. Dashboard, glove box is kind of small, still need more space. There's a little bit of mat pocket here for some things to go there. And you have door pockets, you can actually fit a cup in that cup holder. Massage button, great for a road trip. Power adjustable seats and power lumbar support. The warranty on this Outlander is 10 years, 100,000 miles. It has a three year, 30,000 mile maintenance plan that comes along with it. And it has a five year unlimited roadside assistant. Mitsubishi has put you right in a good place and it's gonna make this a really difficult decision for many of you. The only thing that would keep me from taking this Mitsubishi Outlander home with me would be the front end design. I can't tell whether it's headlights or turn signals or daytime running lights. The front just seems to be a little bit confused. Aside from that, this vehicle is really starting to grow on me. But don't take my word for it. Go see for yourself. If you're looking for a mid-size SUV with a just-in-case third row and you want better than average fuel economy, this Mitsubishi Outlander is worth consideration. Not to mention, on our road trip, that was one of the most relaxing rides I've had with that dynamic cruise control and the heads-up display that gave me all the sign recognition along those dark highway roads. This Mitsubishi is making a case for itself. Some of the other guys out there should be nervous. This Outlander will get almost hot on our is it hot or is it not category. Until next week, I'm Daryl Killian for the Auto Inside.